Hi Aries, how's it going? If you are secretly in love with somebody or have a crush on somebody and would like to know how they feel about you, then this reading is for you. We'll have two separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual in the second spread, we'll see the potential between you and this person. Or, if their heart is with uh, someone else, in the second spread, we'll see a new person entering your life in the near future. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. We have uh, Strength, clarified by the Devil. <laughs> we have uh, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. And uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, Capricorn, or absolutely any Zodiac sign. Well, the good news is, Aries, is that this person, th I don't think they have anybody else. As a matter of fact, I think they've prepared something very special. Maybe even something uh, unique for you. It's like this person is getting ready to impress you to do something special for you. It's, right? We start with the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. It is a card of waiting. Right? So I think they're waiting for some kind of an event or a reunion. Um, maybe they're waiting to take you someplace. Or if both of you are going to the same event, uh, they're waiting for that event so they could start a conversation with you, so they could uh, approach you, right? But uh, that Seven of Pentacles is not necessarily just simply waiting, all right? It's, it could be a card of doing something and then waiting for the results. <laughs> so what that makes me think is that they've prepared something, like they did some kind of a research, maybe they booked something, uh, reserved something, Right, and uh, they're waiting for for that day so they could impress you and something like that. That's how it feels, right? They it feels like they've prepared something for you. We start with two major arcana cards uh, in the beginning, right? Strength clarified by the devil. A strength could be a Leo. You're dealing with the devil could be a Capricorn. But uh, if we want to stay away from particular zodiac signs. Yeah, again, those are two major arcana cards. We don't have any major arcana cards besides those two. Strength could be a card of courage. <laughs> Strength could be a card of courage. And the devil could be a card of... Um, maybe they feel this unnatural pull towards you. The devil doesn't have to be a negative card. No, it doesn't. It can be. In, uh, in many cases it is. But together with uh, what I see on the table, I think they just really feel this pull towards you. If you have a crush on this person, they have a crush on you as well. Rest assured, they do with those cards. Alright? And um, yeah, here they come. The remaining four cards, this is them coming your way or this is them uh, going to the same event. Right? The Page of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Cups. There, there they come. The Three of Cups could be a card of a reunion or an event. Absolutely any type of an event. Right, the Page of Pentacles, perhaps they bought tickets, perhaps they reserved something, booked something, they've prepared some money, <laughs> right? Uh, and uh, the Three of Cups, yeah, that's uh, that's some kind of an event. And uh, the Eight of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords, right next to the deck, both cards are talking about the same thing, right? Both cards are cards of literally going somewhere, right? Uh, the Eight of Wands is also a card of uh, communication, a lot of communication, as a matter of fact. And my favorite interpretation of the Eight of Wands is the Cupid's Arrows card, right? Cupid's Arrows. Perhaps you guys can go on like a very romantic trip or very romantic cruise or uh, it could be like a weekend getaway. And I think this is them planning that into the future. At first, they want to do something about that party, that event, right? And then after that, they want to surprise you and they want to impress you with some other uh, trip. All right? Yeah, uh, the Six of Swords, that Six of Swords always talks about things getting better, <laughs> by the way. So that's what they hope for. They hope to get the show on the road with you. Aries, I hope this makes sense. All right? So expect this person to... Uh, make a move very, very soon, if they haven't already. Alright, so yeah, uh, let's take a look at the potential between you and this person real quick. So here's the potential um, areas between you and uh, that person we saw in the first spread. We have the full clarified by the Empress, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, clarified by the uh, Ten of Cups, 
and uh, we have the star on the bottom of the deck. You know what? This actually exceeded my expectation. One thing I forgot to mention during the first spread, one of the reasons why I clarified every single card that came out in the first spread, I was hoping to see a court card <laughs> or some court cards. We didn't have any, but we got what we got. It wasn't too shabby either. And this spread right here is also an amazing spread. Right, then um, the Two of Cups, the last card that came out, I clarified that for that specific reason. I was hoping to see a court card, no court cards. Aries, I don't know what the, what uh, <laughs> what's going on, but we do have uh, two Commitment and Marriage cards. Two. Not one, but two. The Ten of Cups, clarifying the Two of Cups by the deck is a Marriage card, and so is the Ten of Pentacles. Right, so the potential is marriage, long-term relationship, family, right? If having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together or more children together, right? We start with the Fool. The Fool is actually one of your major arcana cards, Aries, and as I was clarifying that, I simply asked how you will feel about what's going on and the Empress showed up. You will feel... Um, I don't know if you ever felt this way before. You know, the Empress is a mother figure, by the way, so going back to that children situation, the Empress is somebody who is loved, cherished, taken care of, being put up on a pedestal. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. It's abundance in its purest form. So you will feel like they're almost worshipping you. <laughs> Right? Then the Fool is also a card of taking a leap of faith, just going for it. The, the Fool could be a card of like feeling like it's a breath of fresh air. So yeah, this person is almost wor wor worshipping you, if I can speak. The star on the bottom of the deck could be an Aquarius, you know, but it's a, it's a wish come true. The, with the star card, people usually hope for, wish for something, and then that wish is being granted. Right? And uh, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, it's like you're getting the best of both worlds. but. One showing up on its own, right? And the other one is a clarified, simply a confirmation from the universe. Yes, that's what's actually coming your way. And the Ten of Pentacles is a card of like a rock solid commitment of marriage with money in the bank, with property, with uh, everything, right? And uh, the Ten of Cups is also a marriage card, but that one is like the emotional fulfillment card. The Ten of Cups is often referred to as the happily ever after card. So you get both, you know, money in the bank and a nice house, <laughs> or a nice apartment, right? And the uh, emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. And the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. And uh, we have two people in the Two of Cups, finally, right? Two people, and in the Ten of Cups we have uh, four people. In the Ten of Pentacles we have more than, more than two people, right? Yeah, soulmate card, it's a card of unconditional love, it's a card of uh, when two people feel the same way towards one another. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not, with cards like this, it's not really a potential. I think this person was like really serious about you. And uh, as we saw in the first spread, they prepared, they've prepared for this. All right, they're getting ready to make sure they secure, with, <laughs> secure this with you, if that makes sense. All right, Aries, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what I have for you for this reading for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And other than that, Aries, have a fantastic May.